Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I am happy to, to present to you the new features of MindBreeze Insight today. And the, the cool thing is that all the steps that we will show you um, during this uh, keynote, you can, even, you can even walk through it in here if you have an iPad as well, for example, uh, and walk through the steps as well with your own website. So, and why is that? The reason is the process of registering for our new cloud service is totally easy. It works out that you only go to a landing page, enter your page URL, and everything else is done by our cloud service. And the next step is you will receive an email with a code snippet that you can embed. So let us walk you through uh, the whole registration process, please. So this is Michael on the keyboard, by the way. Uh, so the first step, what we want to do is uh, we would like to click on test for free. So it's a free offering for 14 days. Um, what you see here is in the upper area, the process that I showed you in the slide already. Uh, but what you see here is an easy registration. It's only email address, it's first name, last name, country, and your website URL. So we have seen the example of Mr. Mundwiller today, the sgbs.fabo5.com site. And the first step, what we do is we copy and paste the URL and say, we already have a Folio Cloud account, as all of you have, as you registered for the conference. So uh, we register. So everyone has to have a synonym, as we learned. In my case, it's Michael Bibel. <laughs> Uh, and we say create account. So what happens now in the background? The first thing we can show you is we get an email that the registration worked out fine. So that's the first feedback you immediately get from the service. Your registration worked. And what's now in the background? So can we please switch to the slides again? Yeah. The service in the background is now doing the following. It's analyzing the whole content of your web page and trying to not only analyze, but also classify and understand the structure of your website to extract as much, not only unstructured, but also structured information, like, for example, finding out author information about Knut Bleicher, finding out ISBN numbers of books, finding out that something is a book. So that's exactly what the service is doing right now. It classifies and tries to understand the, 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 the semantics of your, of your site and builds up a cloud index. So it produces an index and it offers you this index um, to be able to do the searches against exactly these, these indices for two reasons. The one is finding information and the other thing is embedding information with the uh, information pairing feature. So we go back to the, to the demo, and we already see we have an email here with a demo link that shows the result of your reg registration. So this is a search for all the contents now on the SGBS site. Um, the first thing I, I see here is it's only extensions as facets, it's only one tab, it's only everything, and I want to customize this client. And that's now a, a new WYSIWYG editor feature of our inside product that we can hover, yeah, we hover over this uh, extensions facets and say edit facets. Now you see there are several other facets that got extracted automatically by MindPress Insight for this website. It's kind of author, we could add author, for example. It's course number, when courses start, it's in which hotels courses are, uh, language, location. Location is interesting as well uh, for us, so we add this as well. Um, yeah, and, and let's, let's apply those uh, three facets now. But uh, we, could, we could, sorry, stop, we could reorder them. Yeah, we could say, let's, Let's do extension uh, down, down. Yeah, once again, yeah, great. And let's apply uh, this as it is. 
So we can even reorder it by drag and drop just in a, in a WYSIWYG mode without any coding. The other thing is the everything tab I mentioned. So I would love to only have uh, an area in my search that only searches, uh, for example, information on management, management courses, junior management courses, uh, whatsoever. So we just search for management and we see that the search results immediately refine. And we have a plus right next to everything. We click on this plus and say, we call the search tab management again. And what we have created right now is a slicing through your website's content yeah, so that you have a tab that only will find information on management uh, sites, on management uh, PDFs. And why did we do all the customization? There's a great reason for this. Uh, we wanted to make this as easy as YouTube is to embed in a in a website, so it's as, it should be as easy as a YouTube video embedding into a website. So if we scroll down, please, we see two steps here. The first step is a code line uh, that says, please position this line where you want to have the search field on your site. So we copy and paste this. We go to a Faber 5 site in this case. This could be your own HTML page as well, so plain HTML or your web content management that you use today as well. We copy and paste this. We go back, there was a second snippet, and it says this snippet should be placed right before the ending of the body element. Uh, this is the typical scenario, but you can even edit in between, so we can edit here as well and say save, and you have already the search field. So there is nothing more to do than inserting, copy and paste two code snippets and you have a search for your site on your web page. If we search here for Gala, for example, exactly, um, you see it's ex exactly the client that we customized right before on our demo page is now embedded in our website. So um, let's go back to the slides, please, because um, what I want to show you is, on the one side, MindBreeze tries to detect as much information as possible from the website structure. But in some cases, this isn't enough. And uh, there are standard organizations. Um, and so with uh, HTML5, there was a standard coming up, which is called microdata. So microdata allows you, and you see this in this preview section down here. So this is what this snippet up there would look like on your website. So it's totally readable for a human being, but it tells search engines a lot more about this text. It tells us this is an organization, this is the address of the organization, and this, by the way, is a phone number, and this is a URL. So we have some things that you can easily extract, for example, that something is a URL, that something is, an, is a phone address, but uh, like MindPress Software GmbH is a company, it wouldn't be that easy. Yeah? Um, so you can help search engines by adding such microdata inform, uh, information and other programs as well. So for example, Microsoft Outlook supports this as well uh, for contact information. You can help those applications by adding those semantics to your website to understand the semantics of your content. Yeah? And this is exactly, so if you use microdata as a standard, this is exactly what we automatically harvest. We, of course, harvest other things like Dublin Core, all those standard uh, metadata definition languages and, and properties. We automatically harvest those, and we, of course, try to understand the structure. But if this isn't enough for you, you can add microdata and get additional facets for your web page automatically. So, but this all wouldn't be mind uh, if there wouldn't be more, and we've already seen what the more is. It's information pairing, as we call it. Um, and I want to show you a more advanced way to use uh, information pairing. So if we look at the website again, Yeah, it's loading, and uh, the, nice thing, the nice thing down here I wanted to tell you is this is, 
these are search-driven results. So this is search-driven content. These, in reality, are, are just normal results, but embedded into your web page. This can not only be content from your website, this could also be search results from Folio Cloud, for example. Um, and we will show you now how to, how to write exactly such a snippet to embed it in any website by uh, copy and paste again. So we go up, go to information pairing place, uh, search for Bleich. Uh, as we know, he's the author of many of the books of St. Gala Business School. And we see um, the following thing. We see here the editor that helps you to design how the search result should look like on your website and what there should be displayed, for example, from a metadata perspective. And let's redesign this uh, with our WYSIWYG editor and say, for example, title and then by author. So this is the insert properties. We will show you this again by author. And here you see a list of what's already available structured information via the MindPress inside the cloud service. And we say author, get this dynamic field in here, uh, and then we could add we could add uh, content, of course, to get a preview of this as well. And we can add, please, a thumbnail and, and the order link. Yeah. And now we would like to, to add this uh, title, to add a link to the title so that everyone could l click on the link on the title. And yeah, that's what we do right here, add a link. Yeah, and now you can even click on this title information and get directly to the website. So we have now created a very nice uh, snippet. This is important as well. Um, if we go over the link, we see it's a link to Amazon. So we pair even not only information from your own website, we also pair information from Amazon articles on your website, for example, and keep the link. We call this annotations. Yeah, and all the annotations, so all the annotations that HTML already has, MindPress takes over to our index uh, and uh, makes sure these annotations are still in place. So we go down, please, and copy and paste those two snippets again to a Faber 5 demo page. And here you are, here you are. It's totally transparent for a visitor. He wouldn't even recognize this. these are search-driven results or is search-driven information. He would just come to your website and get always the latest up-to-date information that fits to your query that you did during uh, the creation of those snippets. This can also be used, for example, to add content from your blogs on, for example, about uh, mobile, uh, to your website and pair those two different sites on your main web page with no need to update the links anymore. So it's, it's really, it really saves you a lot of, of, um, a lot of work here. So, and the last thing I want to show you is uh, we, are, we are up at some of uh, the, 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 the biggest Austrian uh, news portals like Future Zone and Computerwelt, uh, and that's what they say about our, our product. They really use the inside product. They really use one-to-one -one the product we walked you through. Uh, and FutureZone, for example, has about 14,000 queries a day. Uh, so we are talking here about a huge website with huge traffic, search traffic on this page. Um, yeah, and please feel free to go to our landing page, register there, and try it out for yourself with your own website um, and get a feeling how this works. And before you leave, you, you maybe have uh, thought, why, why, why did he bring uh, this, this iPad with him? And the reason is uh, quite trivial. On the one side, I have some speaker notes in here, but the other thing is, and I always wanted to do that, uh, I want to take a picture of you. so that I can Twitter that my presentation now is over and there were so many attendees. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you, thank you Daniel. Thank, thank you. you, Oliver. Thank you, Markus. These were very, really great examples of cloud apps, cloud offering of Fabersoft based also on the Folio cloud infrastructure. So um, what wasn't mentioned here, but which should also give you um, the, the horizon of what is possible on top of our technology, uh, these are examples that leverage exactly these things. The whole shop, the, 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 the buying, everything is done by Folio Cloud, just to give you some, some hints uh, what is possible with, with Fabersoft. Okay, for now we have a break. Uh, then there are breakout sessions um, uh, in the morning and also in the afternoon. And I hope I see all of you then back here at uh, 3.30 where we can have a final chat, uh, a final coffee for uh, a weekend you have really then uh, yes, worked hard for, uh, that uh, we will bring all the speakers also uh, in here so that we can have these discussions that um, answer questions you have um, got over the day. Thank you very much for attending this keynote uh, until uh, 3.30. Uh, three, three okay, thanks.